Have you ever had a hard drive crash? <laughs> yes. My hard drive failed this past week. You had a I'm backup saying, though, right? Failed. Failed. Um, no, I didn't have a backup, but that's me. In my scenario, I didn't need a backup because I don't store anything on my hard drive. Oh, okay. Right. So I'm okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when because my hard drive failed, there was no backup. Oh. There was like seven years of photos. See, my life is about central management of data. So, like, this is how I'm able to use, like, a Pinebook Pro to do right. video editing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we talked about that so last week. So I'm remoted in through a VPN connection to a massive server that has I, I, I scuzzy access to massive storage. Right. So I don't need any kind of storage on my devices. So when my hard drive failed, I'm saying failed, mm -hmm. it, uh, it didn't take any of my data with it. It just was a bit of an inconvenience. I had to put in a new drive and, uh, and get back up and running get everything reinstalled. But what was a little frightening about this particular failure uh -huh. that I have never encountered in my entire career as a computer technician in my entire life Ooh. is that when I walked in to my office, there was a stench of melted electronics. Oh, no. Oh. I don't have very good photos, but what I have, I will give you. <laughs> My hard drive caught on fire overnight. Oh. No. Yes. So within the chassis of my computer, which is like an aluminum yeah. case, there was a fire. Wow. Gulp. Yeah. So when you think about, so then I'm thinking, oh my goodness, all the time. I've never seen this happen before no. ever. Wow. And there's nothing that I have ever done that should have caused that. There's no, oh. there's nothing that I did. To do that there's uh -oh. no there was no the, dust build up no the computer is perfectly clean under my desk and is is never moved it's statically set up and it just was it was a a cheap ssd i think and it literally caught on fire inside wow. the chassis so the fire was contained the computer was okay thankfully but <laughs> stunk like a beast no doubt for about three days but the drive itself was so baked did you contact no no i replaced it with a good kingston hard drive yeah, of course SSD. You did. yeah i did and reinstalled my stuff and you know i'm back up and running in a few hours like how but, come you didn't do this the first time but it really did make me think about all those times that i've thought about doing like wooden builds <laughs> 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 yeah. you know like mm, maybe Not a good idea. it was a really good thing that my computer chassis was made of aluminum Yes. Maybe that and, and fairly airtight to the point where not a whole lot of oxygen can get in once once it's expelled. Right. Yeah. You know? So like the burning didn't affect any of the other components? No, because it was in the in the drive tray. So it was contained right. within the tray. So so the tray itself actually had some plastic components as well. Yep. Those plastic components melted and dripped down. Wow. But the so it wasn't like a flash burn. It was like no, it was a going. fire. It was a fire inside the case of the hard drive. Yeah, uh, the SSD. It was a, a uh, and that's the crazy part state. is that it's an SSD. Like I, I could see that maybe with you know traditional hard drive with yeah. like moving parts, but an SSD to catch fire. I would be really proud if it was like a moving parts thing. Like I worked that beast so hard, <laughs> I got it up to fifteen billion RPM. That's right, and then. Poof, Wow. No, but it must have burnt for a while. It, it was pretty bad. So, so did you, but, did you get alerts or did you like what? Nah, this is just my desktop computer. I didn't have NEMS running <laughs> monitoring on it or anything like that. However, ne because the board, the, uh, it did make me think because the motherboard has USB ports on the motherboard. Yeah. I think I might put a temper device in my computer chassis. Mm -hmm. And a temper device is like a USB. Uh, thermal sensor mm -hmm. and, they, yeah, we, and they, we there's a humidity a, sensor an well. episode with one of we those. did yeah, yeah to do that so please. imagine putting that in yeah. and then i could have gotten an alert from nems linux that said hey your computer is 140 really degrees celsius and, you, and would you have been like oh that that's must weird be a mistake <laughs> gotta check the programming <laughs> that would have been a little bit of a strange alert it, for sure. Yeah. However, you can trust NEMS that the, that, the yeah. data is accurate. So wow. then you would have gone to see it in action, brought some marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
But thankfully it was before. contained because it, that could have impacted yeah. the entire office. Yeah, but doesn't it make you think about like all these like builds that I'm doing and and some of them made of cardboard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm really kind of rethinking the materials that I use for my builds and and you know I think about KKSB cases for for single board computers and how they're like solid steel. Mm -hmm. Bent and fabricated steel and that just says quality to me and like yeah. that's gonna that's gonna protect Fire. me in event of like a short circuit or something yeah, like that I, I don't know what happened to the drive it was like an internal thing i've never had a hard drive catch fire. never i've never. had power supplies i haven't i've never oh, i've never had a GPS? fire like that yeah oh. yeah it was the computer that i built i don't know four years ago six months in all of a sudden i'm like what is that smell yeah, oh. and then I I went down to the computer and I realized I've burnt oh, capacitors like, it's, and stuff. It smoked that. Sure, thing. but I've burnt capacitors. I've had things burst. Yeah, but I'm talking this caught on fire, <gasps> like Wild. literally. I wish not from heat. This was like a heat. short circuit in the power lines or something Ooh. within the drive. The crazy stuff. So so I mean, hey, I've never seen it happen before, but hmm. now I know it could happen. Yeah, now yeah. It's scary. Could it really? Mm, it actually happen did happen to Robbie. What are the stats I want? I think we should all try to simulate it. <laughs> Make it happen. <laughs> boy, oh I boy. wonder if there's a kid, like, there is some data as to what could cause an SSD to light on fire. What's on the inside of an SSD? I don't think it's a very common thing. What What's on the inside of it? What is the... You've got a, a PCB circuit board with, with, um, with memory modules, yeah. essentially. And and some resistors and all kinds of little circuits yeah. and stuff, but, but so something moved. in there, no, yeah, and there's no moving parts, and so something in there short circuited, I think, and maybe like twelve volt hit something else and decided to explode and catch. Fire. I don't know. What's wow. interesting is that it happened when you weren't in the office, because if it happened yeah. while you were in the office, you it might have taken a while for you to figure out. I might have been like, okay, my computer's on fire, like because yeah. you would have smelled it. It yeah. was yeah. brutal. Yeah. You might have ruined your computer with like a fire extinguisher at that point. Maybe. Yeah, it's probably Yikes. good. It's probably good. Well, when you but an electrical fire contained within an aluminum box is yeah, hopefully pretty safe. But it, it, the it, best of the bad scenario. It was in one of my wooden chassis. <laughs> not Perhaps a good, not so Not good. a good scenario. Why do I smell charred hickory?